Okay, you mofos. I gotta make this quick, quick, because I wanna eat some McDonald's. So, my brain go poo poo right now, cause this thing. Okay, so I googled it. Who is the strongest anime character? And it says Saitama. Saitama from One Punch Man is the strongest character in anime. One Punch Man is different from most other combat animes. And that the protagonist is already the strongest person around, rather, rather than striving to reach that goal. Okay. So, it's saying Saitama is the strongest anime character. Okay, and then when you look at Accelerator from Toro No Magical No Index, right? So you look at this. Accelerator is an antagonist turned anti hero in the certain magical index franchise and one of the main protagonists of the series. Okay, right? So this guy has the power of vector manipulation and controls vectors at will, I'm pretty sure. Then, I'll put in this. Saitama vs. Accelerator. It says, Saitama, Accelerator will win because his power makes him effectively immune to physical force. And Saitama is all about physical force. He fights by punching things away. And anytime he tries to punch Accelerator, Accelerator's reflection will just passively reverse the impact to hurt Saitama instead. And then, I clicked on this thingy right here. Can Accelerator beat Saitama? And then it says this. Round 1. Probably Accelerator, the only way Saitama would, uh, I mean, could win is if he destroyed the planet. And Accelerator can kill him with a single touch. Because one of his powers is vector manipulation. He can, like, make his blood flow do shit. And then he can go pop. Saitama can't hurt him because the force of his own punches would take him down. Accelerator uh, can still kill him with a single touch. So, now, I look at this, and then I look at this, and then my brain go poo poo. Help me.